I seen this quote that said, keep your heart soft, but your boundaries strong. Very significant. I also had a dream of a celebrity uh, roofing my drink. And what's so interesting is I seen their face vividly and I seen the roofie vividly as I walked away from this celebrity. Um, and it was so vivid, I seen the, uh, the pill breaking down in my drink, like into, it was liquidizing right before my eyes, but whatever was wrapped around the pill would not dissolve. It was a remnant of the capsule, what was wrapped around the capsule. So it was very obvious. Um, but if you're paying attention, that's what I'm hearing. If you're paying attention, you'll see. So something very significant about paying close attention. Also, substance abuse, trickery, deception. Making sure something is broken, broken down to the very end before sharing it or while sharing something, making sure it's broken down before stepping away from it. Often dreams are an indication of something you're battling with in your own life. Um, if it's not you, it's someone around you. For me, because I'm a reader, I'm often reading for the collective. Um, this could be for the collective as well. Um, but it can indicate a battle with substances or some sort of addiction. Okay. You got Sagittarius and Gemini. These are opposite signs here. Jupiter, Mercury. There is definitely... Something here about being honest. Especially when you're communicating. Even when you're nervous. Some of you may feel the need to get something out like immediately. Before the nerves get the best of you. Just say it. Just do it. While the passion and the fire is hot. I don't, for some reason I'm picking up on the Knight of Wands with this Sagittarius energy here. I just heard be bold and take the first step. Or make the first move out of the Moonology deck. For some of you, it's definitely time to be enthusiastic about an idea you've been having. Or it's definitely time to learn more about it and become more educated on something. So as you're teaching something, 
the knowledge you've obtained behind it brings you confidence and or it's time for you to understand that you need to learn something and being self-aware enough to know that it's time to sit down and learn this thing versatility is here going from inconsistent to consistent or vice versa we don't want the vice versa though if you can help it I'm sure you can something here about a conversational piece I don't know if you wear some type of jewelry or you have a wide sense of fashion eccentric you're some sort of a guru in something or connoisseur or something ingenious I just heard Raul someone's name could be Raul You could be between the ages of 23, 29, or something very significant uh, between those ages. I'm also picking up on 11-5, November 5th, could be someone's birthday. Scorpio, Ophiuchus energy. that those dates aren't Ophiuchus but Scorpio Sag energy is Ophiuchus energy yeah balance is here the maintainer it's time for you to balance Some of you guys may notice that your equal uh, equilibrium is off. You could be a little off balance, off kilter. Some of you guys may get a sense of dizziness out of the blue. Maybe even some thumping on the right or left side of the brain here. These are your body, this is your body giving you a sign. It's time for you to bring the body into a harmonious state. <clears throat> I always, sattva, I always think of sativa when I see that, or stivia the sugar substitute some of you guys your sugar may be high or your blood something about insulin if you're a diabetic it's time for you to be wise as it pertains to your health and what you eat we're in libra season makes sense It's time to be truthful here and be mindful of what you consume. It's time for you to become more refined. Eat more things with substance, more living things. Yeah, plants. <laughs> I'm getting plants from planets. So eat more plants, leafy greens. I'm also hearing leave the flower alone. Level four. 
something about the fourth house. Cosmic influences. Some of you guys have family members in the cosmos that still have a heavy influence on you or they're the ones that are bringing this message through in regards to your health. Yeah, Mars energy. This is something you need to take action on. It's a part of your North Node to be healthy. I just heard, don't take that away from yourself. It's you versus you every day. I don't care what you say. The waiting game. Another card of balance. material and spiritual prosperity so this is yet again balance the number six reciprocity give and take don't starve one to feed the other aquarius energy is coming through i'm picking up on february 6 february 10th It says, uh, for the waiting game, this card indicates that you've worked hard to set things in motion in certain areas of your life, and you're now waiting for the results to come to fruition. The number two is all about choice and decision. In the past, you may have been afraid of making decisions or choices, but now you are no longer held prisoner by this fear or this constraint or the constraints of the old beliefs expect the best and be open to the limits the limitless power of your intuition which is presently very strong trust and use it to assist you achievement and success are assured but once obtained, don't let it change you. Remember who you are, the effort that it took to get you to this point, and the gratitude you need to show to the people who helped you. Stay on your spiritual path, for it will continue to guide you on the journey of your soul. Ashe. Um... That definitely resonates with the um, Scorpio reading. If you haven't checked that out, check that out. That resonate with a part of Scorpio reading, but okay. Any cups reversed. Page of Wands. The Star. Okay. 
For some of you, I really do feel like there's an emotional healing that needs to take place. And the balance that I'm picking up is in correlation to your emotions. With this King of Cups reverse. In reverse, the key, uh, in reverse, the King of Cups suggests emotional imbalance, mood swings, emotional suppression, or manipulation. When you fall into this kind of energy, spend some quality time with yourself. Shift your attention within and work hard to locate the crooks of your emotion. The crooks of your emotional issues. Meditate, journal, and sit near bodies of water. Rediscover your inner calm, grace, and goodwill. Okay. The page of wands is saying, yes, this will bring in healing. So, as you meditate, as you go within, as you rebalance your energy... The healing will start to circulate. Something about circulation in the body, blood circulation, I'm hearing that again. I'm picking up on Cancerian energy very strongly especially with the mood swings. Also be aware of being manipulative or someone attempting to manipulate you while you're in this healing energy or on this healing journey. Because you may be vulnerable at this time, but that goes back to the initial quote. Keep your heart soft, but your boundaries strong. So right now, you are being advised to have strong yet healthy boundaries, especially with the full reverse, because this can indicate um, going towards something with little to no knowledge. being foolish clarify the king of cups reverse some of you guys are meant to heal yourself so that you can then start to heal others around you mm -hmm. devil reverse we like that we love that actually we love that yeah now look fools in the upright with the hairy font you have Guidance by the Most High. Look at you. Choosing. Choosing the right path. I'm picking up what Cat Williams said. There's, there's a God side. And then there's the other side. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing here you're choosing God. Or the most high source, however you view however you view God, you're definitely shedding old skin here with the devil reverse. You're taking your power back. You are ridding of some addictions, bad habits, codependency, and fear. Or it's time. Or you're learning how to do this. Or you're seeking a mentor, a counselor, some sort of guidance. You're getting back into your spirituality. If you're religious, you're getting back into your religion. But this time, you know, you're, you're studying. You're all in. Because 
with the North Node energy coming out, a lot of you guys are seeing your purpose more clearly. And you know this is bigger than you. Show me the page of wands. You could be a Taurus. You could be an Aries, Aquarius, Kappa. There's the Knight of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Page of Swords. Studying. Researching. Seeking information. Seeking out this information. Your best bet is books, is what I'm hearing. We do have the internet, but something about fact, fact checking, checking the facts, seeking guidance, seeking help, um, or this is coming in, good news is coming in here. If some of you guys have been experiencing a stalker, you're going to find out who that is or who that was. Someone's going to be honest with you. Show me the star. Time to let go of something here so that you can heal properly. The lovers of Gemini. Or lover, the will of fortune. Okay. So some of you may be having difficulties of letting go of something or someone due to feeling like it's destined or, you know, something belongs in your life. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands. Of pentacles. This is stability. This is celebration. This is happiness. This is harm harmony. A coming together. Security. So what do they need to let go of? Independence. It's time to be interdependent in this relationship. Or, yeah, letting go of that idea that, you know, you have to be independent, strong, and do everything by yourself when in fact you don't. Yeah, the Six of Wands here. Someone admires you for that, but they want you to know that that part of your life is <clears throat> it's no more. You now have a teammate, you have a help meet. What is the closing energy here? Element of fire with Pisces. Element of It says the element of fire. Um. 
fire governs the south noon summer the color red the planets mars and jupiter the sun and the zodiac sign sagittarius leo and aries its tools are the wand staff and scourge or scourge fire is the creative ambitious and drive the spark that generates strength action and productivity when in balance fire creates and strengthens when out of balance it destroys and consumes when fire appears in your reading you are asked to examine your creative and ambitious drives the motives behind your actions how you approach and act on situations can greatly affect not only performance but also the flow of energies when participating in projects fire while very creative can become unfocused if let if left to burn without direction you are being reminded to give your creative thoughts actions and words direction and focus to achieve your goals all right so that's what i got for you collective i pray it helps like this video and i will check you on the next one bye